In this video, I want to share with you some insights on notifications related to your Google Drive, specifically when you're sharing your content with others. But before I go into that, do me a favor, please. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have a question about the content in this video, comment and ask me any question. And furthermore, if you like this content and you want more, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notified when I create even more content. Google Drive notifications. Notifications typically happen at the file level. So if I open up any file, let me go to a Google Sheet. I open up a Google Sheet. When I, I in this Google Sheet, and this is the same thing in documents and slides, you go to tools and there's notifications. So you can edit the notification and you can say anytime changes are made or a user submits a form. Now this is not a form, so that won't work. But you could say anytime changes are made, send me an email right away or daily digest or you know, daily list. And then I can hit save. So anytime this content is changed, hit done. Anytime this content is changed, someone adds to it in any way or another, then Google is going to send you an email alerting you, notifying you to that change. And by the way, if you set that up and you no longer want those notifications, go back to tools, notifications, edit it, and you can delete that notification. And now you'll no longer get an email when this content is changed. Let me show you in the context of a Google Doc. So I got to open up a Google Doc. Open up anonymous viewers, whatever that is. I can go to tools, go down here to notifications. I can get notified about comments on this Google Doc. I can also get not notified about edits on this Google document. So anytime someone adds or removes content or anytime someone comments, I hit OK and I will get notified. Now let me also share this idea with you for Google Slides. Go back to my drive. Go to Google Slide, uh, Slides right here. Open up a Google Slide. Here's my Google Slide. And again, if I share it, then this becomes a useful. But under Tools, Notifications, I can get notified on Google Slides only in context to comments. I do not get notified when someone edits it, only when they leave a comment. So again, in Google Sheets, I can get notified anytime someone edits a, a, a Google Sheet or if it's a form when they submit a form. In Google Docs, I can get notified anytime someone adds a comment. This would be someone who it's shared with or when they edit content. But in Google Slides, I only get notified when someone leaves a comment. And the only people who can leave a comment are people who are com have commenter access or edit access. These are the typical kinds of notifications you will get in Google Drive, again, when someone um, edits or, man or, or comments on your content. The only other notification you may get is if someone has access to your Google Doc. Let me go back to Teddy Burris on Gmail. And you can see that this person only has a view access. They can't change it. So they can't change this content. Furthermore, they can't download it, email it. They can't uh, print it or create their own copy. But here's the other notification you get. If someone has view access, they could request, you know, please give me edit access to this doc. If they have that option right there to request edit access, this is another notification you get. And if I go back to uh, the owner of this document, cancel that out and go here, you'll see right there is the email where Teddy Burris at Gmail is requesting access uh, to this document. And they're asking for editor access. Interestingly enough, I can give her a commenter, give them editor, or I can decline altogether. So those are the typical kinds of notifications you will get in the context of sharing Google Drive content. Either a notification about a change, a submission of a form, or a comment, or you'll get a notification if someone requests access, either editor access, or they request commenter access to your Google Drive content. 
I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and G. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful for you.